Hello, everybody, and welcome to Virtual Bourbon. My name is Steve Akeley. We have a fun event tonight. We have the third edition of our Whiskey Fight. So we have five different competitors facing off in a blind challenge. Now, this can be any type of American whiskey. So, you know, we're talking about bourbon, we're talking rye, a single malt, corn whiskey, you name it. If it's made in America, it is eligible to be here. We don't do anything in terms of proof. So proofs can be across the board. We don't try to, you know, uh, they all have to be the exact same proof. It's just kind of whatever is selected. So we do know that it, we have to have uh, five competitors, two of which we know because they are carried over from the previous time. We have the champion carried over, which is Kentucky Peerless. So Kentucky Peerless won the last time we got together and did this. And then the runner up last time was Buffalo Trace. So we know within the five that we're going to be tasting, we know two of them. The only other thing we know is the three that got eliminated last month are not in this. Now, don't ask me who they are because I didn't write that down. So uh, if not, if not, we'll turn it over to Kathy. Maybe she kept track of that. <laughs> if she didn't, we have no record of it. No, we have no record of it. So yes, that's why we record these though. It is out there. So you can check that out. Or we do have standings out at the abvnetwork.com. Check out Whiskey Fights. It's kind of fun. You get to see the rankings, a bunch of stats and stuff like that. So please do check that out. And uh, we'll have some fun with it. So we'll go through this like we do a normal tasting. We're going to go through these two times. The first time we're going to engage everyone. Everyone's going to share their tasting notes as we go through them. That kind of helps out. And then we will go through uh, a second time, a little bit higher level where we won't call on anybody, but we'll allow people to, to put whatever they'd like. You know, if they want to talk about anything that they feel has changed in the whiskey or anything like that, they can. Um, don't mind. Uh, you know, talking about them or saying you like them or that, but no sort of ranking. Uh, you know, we want to leave that for the end. We don't want to, we don't want to try to influence the other members into voting a certain way. We want everybody to vote independently. And that's how we'll wrap this thing up is we will all vote and rank them one to five, one being your favorite of the night, five being your least favorite. We'll use a scoring system to figure out who is the champion at the end of that. With that, let's pour B, but we're going to pour it and put it aside because we like to pour one ahead, as I said. That lets it sit for just a little bit. Once you pour that, set that aside, grab A, and A is the one we're going to be talking about. What are your thoughts on this one as you nose it? It's very light colored. Very light colored. Yeah, Scott was talking about that before we got started. He felt it might have been a specimen or something from the lab. <laughs> I can assure you it is not. Well, it doesn't be dehydrated. <laughs> <laughs> it knows is uh, pretty light. Bro. Yeah, very yeah. light. Kind of fruity though. Sweet, like fr dried sweet oranges, fruity. Maybe. Is it? Is it what? Dried oranges. Fried oranges. Yeah. Dried, not fried. <laughs> fried oranges. I think we just invented something new. You roll with it. That's Kathy. going on the wheel. The, you go with it. Fr fried oranges. <laughs> I've never heard it. of it. It sounds delicious. Like a really carby orange. Okay. So dried oranges. Dried oranges. Okay. Anything else? Anybody get a note on that? All right. All right. See, I was try. thinking bubble gum, but but now maybe maybe it really is fried oranges. Maybe it's fried oranges. <laughs> it could be our newest nosing or tasting note: fried oranges. Thanks to Kathy and my inability to hear. It's this, folks, you're going to have to get used to this. I'm 54 now. This hearing situation isn't going to get any better. It's just going to, what? Huh? It's just going to get worse, I guess. All Maybe right, let's some try. grasses. Some... <laughs> let's try this thing. Let's see what we got here. Come on. Sweet and fruity up front, kind of baked goods in the middle finish, and it warms up nicely. I mean, it's 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 nice, kind of sticks with you a little bit. Yeah, if it had less water, it would be really good. If it had what water? If it had less water, it'd be less really water. Good. Less water. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. What I, do you? It, it tastes watered down to me. Tastes watered down to you. What? Uh, what are your other tasting notes besides water, Bill? Anything? Maybe a little whiskey. Okay. Okay. That's good. It's insightful. <laughs> it, That's it, it's, it's pleasant, 
Uh-huh. I just wish that it was, you know, had a little bit more oomph to it. So you're a lot of times it's more water is more on the mouthfeel than anything. So you're saying the, the mouthfeel is kind of a watery mouthfeel, I would guess, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I get that. It's it it leaves a little heat on your tongue, but there's really nothing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. After the hug, there's not much other for finished. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But it it uh for me it tasted better than it knows though. I mean for me. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pulling out a little more earth with those fried oranges too. Okay. Earth and fried oranges. Okay. Earthy fried oranges. There's a, mm-hmm. you know, sell it Key West, I promise. Why would you put earth with your fried oranges? The same Maybe reason people boiled the- peanuts. <laughs> you dropped them okay from the people that brought you boiled peanuts it's earthy fried oranges <laughs> it seems to be like really um really activating the tip of my tongue it's really mm-hmm. peppery on the tip mm-hmm. which is interesting mm-hmm. very front hug and I, it's almost like an ethanol hug but i get what bill's saying there's not enough ethanol in here for it to be doing that okay anything on the taste mike what sort of what sort of notes are you pulling from this thing? He's working it. This is going to be good, I bet. Maybe a little. Um, maybe a little. It's. I want to say peanut butter, but it's not peanut. But you know, okay. something along those lines. All right. Like a nut butter. Yeah, but more like the kind you make it the whole paycheck where you grind your own not the kind of not the kind from the jar okay fair enough fair enough uh david's joined us david are you are you did you get your samples he's not ready to talk yet he's not ready to, eh. he had uh, sent me a message and he didn't get his sample so i was uh, so i was uh, just like minutes ago so i'm i was told him i get back that sucks maybe you found him like i usually do maybe you found him yeah the that can phone happen. Books are here. The new phone books are here. You can't believe how many times that's happened. Yeah, we get out the. the yeah, I'm, not, I'm saying for you, yes, a couple. Of, you're not the only person though, Bill. So yeah, it's, it's happened a lot over the the years. So sometimes they'll get delivered and then someone will set it aside. You know, and, and yeah, that happens. We'll see if David wants to chat with us in a bit. Jason, what are your thoughts as you taste this one? Any any tasting notes? Anything like that? I can, I can I can get a little bit of nut, but I'm also getting a little bit of butter. A butter. Bit of buttering for me. Okay. That doesn't sound bad, actually. It's a pretty good combination. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, think, I don't know what proof it is, but I think uh, it'd be awesome. at a higher proof, it'd be really, really nice. I, I mean, okay. not to steal Bill's catchphrase, but I like it. <laughs> You cannot say that when he's on here. You, you're going to get a cease and desist letter. Uh, sent right. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's true. You'll get a letter from my people. Your people will get a letter from my people. Yeah. yeah that's a problem. Jeannie, how about you? What are your What are your thoughts? You're usually pretty good with the tasting notes. What, did you come up with anything on this one? Um, no, I kind of agreed. Like I said, I thought it was really peppery on the front. Mm-hmm. I can yep. see. Um, I don't really get any of the nuts or anything. Mm-hmm. Um, um, and I, I can taste, uh, definitely the burnt oranges on the end. <laughs> okay. Okay. Fried burnt oranges. We're, we're, we're taking this to another level. When you fry your oranges for too long, they do become the burnt oranges. So. Yeah. Yeah. I've never had that that problem, but yeah, well, it's it's new. It's uh, it's going across the country these days. Scott, how about you, man? Any any tasting notes that uh, that you'd like to put into the record here? I can't really add anything that I haven't heard, Steve. Okay, all right, Kathy. Anything from you? Just sticking with my fried oranges. Fried oranges. Okay, fair enough. Let's uh, let's put let's put a aside. We will come back to it. Uh, we'll go around the horn and come back to it. But for now, let's pour C and then leave that aside. So C, it's poured. <laughs> you know you can move him. <laughs> he wanted you to know something. Yeah. Scott's nosing notes could be interesting this time. Mm. All right. 
<laughs> All right, uh, second one here. Uh, so we're we're again we're tasting B. We poured C, so don't don't forget pour C. But uh, we're talking about B. Oh man, that's a uh, buttered caramel corn. I mean, yeah, I mean that's pretty good. I like it. I I mean the nose is awesome. The nose is awesome. I think I agree. The nose is very good on this one. We'll see if it holds up. Um, we 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 don't we don't know till we taste it, but. Mike's making notes. Oh, man, I know he's... what this is. <laughs> the confidence. The confidence. We'll see. We'll, we'll see. see. We'll I've see. been right. wrong like four or five times today, so you never know. Well, oh, I thought you were <laughs> going to say in your life. <laughs> <laughs> no, just today. Just today. Okay. It's a pretty real uh, standard then. So, all right. Let's try it. Let's see what we got here. Ooh. Damn, that's good. Yeah, I like it. Mm-hmm. I do too. Another kind of chameleon though. You know, where the uh, to me the 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 palate and the nose get a little off of each other, but they're both good. They're just yeah, to me different. Mm-hmm. Isn't it the name of the song? Chameleon. From the chameleon. Yeah. Chameleon. Ooh. I'm not dressing up like I, boy George. I thought this one smelled more, you know, similar to what it tasted mm. versus the first one. I, I'm smelling and tasting like a toffee. A toffee, yeah. 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 Yeah, I can see that. Toffee is definitely good. It um uh, it heats up pretty nicely. I mean, you know, I'm and I'm talking about the the kind of the spiciness uh, of it. So well, there's definitely kind of a peppery finish to it. Um, also, it leaves a little bit of a sweet taste in my mouth, almost sweet, like uh, just like bubble yum or something. So it's kind of, kind of as you breathe out afterwards, I feel that there's a sweetness there that I don't necessarily get on the taste as it goes through. I feel like the taste is really earthy. Mm -hmm. Did you guys already say that though? No, no that was on the previous one. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was dirt. <laughs> <laughs> like i'm not getting all the you know strong caramel and fruit and mm -hmm. everything it's more of the okay okay jason how about you man i don't know my mind is is I'm stuck on butter i mean i get like a butterscotch or, or something like that on this um mm -hmm. it's it's really good though it's good yeah yeah. Yeah, I'm fuller body. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd say this one is along the lines of, you know, a nice holiday dessert, nice Christmas time dessert, little butter, little toffee, little. I think I was tasting the first one still. Okay. And the pepper and the toffee didn't mix. Yeah, this, uh, when you're talking about mouthfeel, remember Mr. Bill brought up the fact that he didn't like the mouthfeel of first one water. This one is definitely not. This is a full bodied, uh, yeah, it's mouthfeel is very good on this one. At least my, my, that's my take on it. Yeah. We yeah. could guess what it's not. No. No, it, it <laughs> you're well, talking. we can guess, we can guess that it's not, um, you know, Rip Van Winkle. Okay. No. Yeah. I, I think that's See? pretty safe to say. That's pretty safe to say. It's not but a single it is good. I yeah. don't I don't anticipate ever putting old Rip Van Winkle in one of these whiskey fights. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah. Scott, how about you, man? What are your what are your thoughts? Any any tasting notes you want to share with the, the crew here? You know, my I'm not smelling a lot. <clears throat> and it, it's tasting kind of uh, uh nothing really strong's popping out. So I might have some uh sinus stuff going on. Nothing's okay coming to mind with these okay okay did, did you pick up any aroma of cattail <laughs> no he just never mind i'm not even gonna go there okay we'll save that for the second pass yeah yeah, yeah. or when the video's oh. off uh, thank you thank you for, <laughs> for your professionalism mr bill any thoughts for you uh, tasting notes on b dude i i I, I say we just, you know, you send everybody a bottle of this and we'll just call it a night. Okay. Okay. 
I, think I mean, it's, this, this is pretty. This is pretty good. I think Mr. Bill likes that one. If uh, he's yeah. one, literally wants a bottle of it, so yeah, okay, fair enough, fair enough. All right, of let's. Course, set, uh, of course, my my my. You know, I could change my mind as we go further into these. You reserve the right to change your mind, which is a good thing because it sometimes happens. We've we've had it happen before, going through a second time. So a few times, say, yeah. All right, uh, let's pour D into the glass, but uh, we're going to be talking about C. C is the one we'll be talking about. Letter D is just going to be sitting in the glass at this point. Lighter nose. Yeah. Yeah, lighter nose. Kind of, kind of, uh, bananas fosterish to me. So yeah, I'm getting some bananas and some some banana, yeah, caramel. Well, I mean that's good. What it's light, but it's good. That's what I'll say on the on the nose. So can we guess what it is? <laughs> no, we don't want you to guess what it is. Uh, again, to repeat, <laughs> we don't want you to guess what it is. This is not the game show, right? Uh, maybe we'll have to do one of those, and then Bill will never talk. I'll be like, "All right, this is the this is the event where we guess what it is after we drink it." Bill will never say anything. Suddenly, he's very quiet. Absolutely. Remember banana, the banana smell from like fake banana, like banana taffy. Yeah, yeah, like that. Like that yellow laffy taffy. Laffy taffy, yeah, that kind of over the top kind of what uh, they think it should be in a in a lab banana. Remember yeah. that TV show? Um, it was like name that tune, and you can name it in like five notes. Yes, you can do a. I can name it in. Five sips. <laughs> yeah, I love well, that. Hell. There might be something there. This, yeah. this I is can name this it is, in five glasses. This is beyond just like an internet event. So it's yeah, five glasses is your start. It's you a send two, me a case of it, I'll tell you what it is. It's a two-part episode. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Eventually. We have to wait for you to come back uh after passing out to the to play the rest. So. Falling off the porch. I like the idea. Uh, I like I can name it. Yeah, that's that's funny. Yeah, I like I like Kathy's thing on take on the sweet on the fake banana, but it's like a fake banana bread or yeah. a fake banana with some pastry going on. There's a little, yeah. there's some more there. Okay, but it it does go together nicely. So I thought I knew what the last one was, and now I think I know what this one was. But I'm wrong <laughs> on one of them. This could be anything, uh, you know, American-made whiskey, and you're, you've got you've got two out of three of them. Down. I got two out of three pegs. I'm probably your, right. In your mind, it's amazing. All right, we'll see. We'll see if, what what happens. All right, let's taste this one. And see what we got. It's it's good. It is good. It's better than okay. It's yeah. better than okay. Yeah. That's a that's a good light drinker. It's a light drinker. Yes. Like Mike, you and I could sit down and then just ha have that bottle and just pour one after another. You better bring more one. than one. Yeah. If, yeah. You could get through one of these pretty easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's, that is an easy drinker right there. Flavorful. Um, I would say kind of Swedish again, Kind of fruity a little bit, light fruit. I mean, I yeah, know. it's that nice three circles of flavor where you get the fruit, you get the sweet, you get a little spice, and they all kind of merge together yeah. just right. There is, so like, turns yeah, into, you're right. There is a little spice there. there yeah, it turns enough. into it's bourbon flavored. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which is Scott, good because I hope that's all that's in there. Scott, what do well, you? Well, it think? could be any kind of American whiskey. It could be. Yeah, yeah. Any any tasting notes from you, buddy? Um, I'm pretty much on board with what everybody's saying. Okay, all right, fair enough. I, I get a little um, almost the more I'm tasting it, a little bit of like vanilla bean. Vanilla bean. Some. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Vanilla bean's good. I feel like it's more of a cinnamon than like a pepper spice. Yeah. So maybe that bread, banana bread kind of thing. Yeah, the cinnamon works in well with that. I agree. Pepper spice would be a little bit more intense. This is not not as intense, so that's a good descriptor for sure. 
Mr. Bill, any, any notes from you? I like it. Okay. Okay. He does. He noticed he didn't ask for a bottle of this one. So I can't. I can't tell you specifically what I'm tasting, but I mean, oh. other than whiskey, just private message uh, Mike Gascap. He knows what they are. Apparently, <laughs> Mike, <laughs> he'll tell you. Mike, what is this? <laughs> Number <knows>. four. <laughs> All right. Uh, last but not least, let's uh, check in with Jason. He seems to be working feverishly on notes, so this has got to be good. I'm guessing. Yeah, um, now I'm getting I'm getting that little sweet little faint of uh, fruit, but it, it's uh, hitting me on the tip of my tongue. But it's not a, a, a cinnamon is probably a good way to describe it. It's not a, a real mm -hmm. heavy pepper, uh, yeah. you know, burn or um, light up my taste buds. But it's uh, but it's good. Um, so I'm getting a kind of a sweet fruity, and it's hitting me on the tip of my tongue. It's okay, okay, all right. That's good. All right, let's set this one aside. We're going to pour E into the glass, our last one of the night we're going to pour. We'll be talking about D, though, in a second here. So letter D is the one we'll be talking about. E, just pour and set aside just for a moment. All right, let's talk about this one on the nose. Again, D. That's really light on the nose for me. Circus peanuts. Circus peanuts, okay. Anybody else getting anything bold on the nose? Something. I can't quite put my finger yeah. on what it is, though. There is something. You wish someone would just come up with that one that's like, aha. Is there something there? Was, there? My kids and I do this thing every now and then where you get a box of candy from like all over the world and you get to try stuff that's a little bit different. And mm -hmm. we got one from England and they have a banana toffee, but it's okay. kind of like, you know, the old fashioned just Brock's caramels. It kind of looks like that, but it's got a little banana flavor to it. And I'm getting a little bit of that here too, but it's banana and something, but it's not, it's more like real banana or just real banana. Yeah. Real, real ripe. The old black bananas you put in banana bread. Yeah. I'm definitely getting something fruity, but I was thinking it maybe even like grapey. I mean. Yeah, I'm getting something either like grapey or mm -hmm. when, when you mentioned the um, chocolates, I was thinking the, for some reason it just popped into my head. You know, those chocolate covered cherries that have yeah. the little like you know, the liquid cherries? with them? They got the, the liquid in there and that? Yeah, yeah. it kind of reminds me, smelling this kind of reminds me of that for some okay. reason. Yeah, those are good. Mm. Is it Grape Bubblicious? Um, to, me, to me, it's a little subtler than that. I mean, Grape Bubblicious is... But I mean, there's definitely uh, that grape flavor uh, that's there. But again, it's, it's like low, <coughs> low concentrate grape cool. Kool-Aid almost. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's taste it and see uh, see where we at. Uh, Terry's going to be coming in there. It, it is that's the surprise. I, it's grape Kool-Aid, but I, I colored it so you wouldn't know. So, <laughs> ooh. Getting something like a bread on the taste. Hmm. That's Getting like good. some cinnamon. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's kind of a fruit cocktail. And then it goes into uh some some spices at the end for me. Uh, cinnamon being definitely being one of them. Um all, is this all fireball. Kind of, Fireball this is fireball. fireball. That's a surprise too. <laughs> Steve ever put fireball? Oh, could you imagine? Tasting. Oh my uh, god. There would be mutiny. Well, luckily, I don't consider that whiskey, so I would not put this in the in there. But at but least I, it would be better. I don't know than... what it's classified as. It might even be classified as whiskey. I don't even know, but I wouldn't put it do that to it. It would be better than the uh, what's that peanut butter whiskey that's a damn screwball. Ball. Screwball. Ball. 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 Yeah. Screwball. Yeah. Bill bought a bottle of that. I just found out last night. I did. And then That's I gave sad. it away. That's sad. That's sad. Sad that it happened to you. Yeah. yeah. It was this, pretty damn nasty. 
this one tastes a little watered down too to me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mouthfeel uh, is an indicator, and again, more uh, watery than the other ones, and uh, yeah, a little uh, muted on the like the flavors feel like they're a little bit muted that they could be bolder if it wasn't whatever proof it is. So we'll, we'll let uh, we'll go. We'll so go. We know that it's got to be what six. Uh, 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 85, uh, 80 proof or higher. Yeah. Yeah. Cause we are doing all, all whiskey. So yeah, they're all going to be 80 proof or higher. So yeah. Oh, fireball doesn't count then. Good. Good. I don't consider that. They put whiskey somewhere the labels. So they, they consider themselves whiskey. And I know many fans consider them whiskey, but I don't, yeah. I don't, it's, it's weird. Yeah. yeah. At least by bird dog, if you're going to do that. So at least it's 80 proof. Yeah, exactly uh terry we're we're on uh we're uh on a letter d right now if you want to if you want to join the group i'm late to the party but i can taste it the second time around right you're late to the party but we're you're you'll be on the first time around on if you pour d and then uh we still have e to go and we do go through a second time this is this is the first pass so you'll have a chance you'll have a chance to and we'll we'll lean on you to for some tasting notes and stuff like that as we go through the second i'm sorry i had it for 8 30 on my calendar instead of eight o'clock so oh man. apologies apologies uh, no problem no problem uh glad you could glad, glad you could make it so i'm glad you're so we got to catch up yeah yeah uh, y'all might Should be we just to... does everybody just mind just starting over can we no, yeah, yeah right <laughs> hey um just scrap everything we've done and just so remind uh, me what we know that one of these is a peerless product and yes one of peerless them is... peerless is our champion so we know we know they're in it as well as the runner-up last time which was buffalo trace so we know we have those two in there the other three are are at least didn't appear the previous month so again the three uh that uh, that are not either first or runner up this time cannot uh, reappear next month they have to take a month off and then they can reappear after that so all right that's all we know and uh yeah we didn't have record of the three that didn't make it okay if, if people are interested in that but i didn't write it down for this so the, the color on a is a lot thinner than the other ones what did you guys i'm, I'm sorry i missed that uh, yeah, that was that was that was discussed. So Scott thought it was a specimen. Uh, uh, in tasting it, we in tasting it we disagreed. But uh, yeah, yeah. So we we. Well, Scott wasn't sure. Scott wasn't sure. Has, has Scott tasted specimens before? I don't know. We didn't Scott. ask that question. We didn't ask that question. So we did not ask that question. Yeah, well, I'm sorry. Don't Scott. you only need to see a specimen to know its color? Hmm. You know, um, my I have a son who graduated college recently. He told me that you can go to head shops and buy specimens now, buy clean specimens for, for like drug, drug tests. tests and stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's not new. That's, <laughs> I had no idea that stuff happened. So, so you can buy it at a shop. I, I mean, I would assume people have been doing this forever with friends and stuff like that, but actually going in and. I'll take yeah, one of those. One I'll take two of two of those. Uh, <laughs> I just can't imagine shopping this stuff. Is there an express line then? No, it's weird. Uh, it's all good until a buddy of mine turned out he was pregnant. <laughs> 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 Whoops. Yeah. Interesting. So I guess, and I guess for some people that's a part-time gig then, providing clean samples. That's their that's yeah. their gig. It's on their resume. I provide yeah. clean samples. Yeah. <laughs> interesting i'll have to look into that a side hustle all right there you go add it to your linkedin profile yes. <sighs> scott we're going to start with you uh on on the taste on this one we're going to want to go through and uh, and go through and are we talking e? those we're, we're on d still i drank all of d already <laughs> oh geez in the second round we still have a second round we got to do. Well, I mean, I didn't like all of it, all of it, but. Okay. Okay. He's going to make his own infinity bottle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's kind of a good juicy finish to it. I'll say that. It's... Are we smelling or tasting? Tasting. Tasting. Oh. Okay. Mm. We got, we got a major sidetrack there. So. Sorry. Go. That's what I'm here for. That's all right. That's all right. Scott's 
It's kind of light. Kind of light, yeah. There's a little flavor there that I can't really put my finger on. Okay. Is it the inside of a cherry cordial? Wait, you don't eat those, so you don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I was gonna say something in the stone fruit world, though. So. Okay. Yeah, he's, he's on the on the case. Mr. Bill, anything from you you want to add to this? And I can't I can't put my finger on what it is either. It's okay. it's much different than what we've drank tonight. All right. KK, anything from you on this one? I think this is just the elusive grape Kool-Aid cherry cordial cinnamon. That's okay. it. Okay. Yeah. Now, Terry, just to get you totally caught up, we did come up with a new tasting note tonight. It's fried oranges. Fried oranges. Fried oranges. Yeah, feel free okay. to use that as, as you need to. It's like uh like like in orange chicken, the Chinese dish, kind of like crispy orange. Rind. I guess, yeah. I mean it's okay. no, it's dry. Steve fried. But Steve has not put I, his hearing aids in. Yeah, I didn't put my hearing aids in and I heard uh, fried. She said dried, but I heard fried. So okay. Yeah. Yeah, that happens. Gee, I had orange used... chicken for dinner last night. It was oh, good. That's, that's good. <laughs> Gee, you, I know you said the, the the cherry cordial thing. Anything else come to mind on the as you taste this one? Um, no, just a combination of the cherry cordial and the uh, grape. Yeah, the grape. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Mike, how about you, man? I got you know cherry plum cinnamon niceness. Okay. I, it's, I mean, it's good. Doesn't hang around very long. Yeah. But you know, could definitely, uh, yeah, kill a bottle of this on a Saturday night pretty easy. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. Jason, how about you, man? Yeah, I know. I don't have much to, to add. I disagree with everybody, and like Mike said, I could. Uh, as an easy drinker, you could find yourself uh, at the end of a bottle real quick. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Point. Yeah. There's not this enough is, flavor there to really make me want to drink a whole bottle oh well, i mean maybe you're bored I keep chasing it <laughs> yeah maybe, maybe you're bored maybe you're poor <laughs> maybe you don't you have anything else like a board fireball yeah. oh you well. need more depression in your life yeah i'm <laughs> doing pretty good in, in that <laughs> don't worry <laughs> i'm doing pretty good throw her back give me another one all right terry uh last but not least we'll go to you uh what are your thoughts as you taste uh our letter d <laughs> It's weird. I get a wood, woodsy taste, not necessarily oak, almost more like mesquite. It's kind of like a okay. sharp, sharp, acidic. I, I do get the grape. I do get the cinnamon. I get a uh, nice finish, though. It's got a not a real sharp finish, but just a lasting finish. A little bit, uh, maybe the grape or grape. I don't like to say grape cough syrup, but maybe some sort of like yeah. grape, grape candy or something. Grape yeah, we're saying, uh, I think Mike said grape Kool-Aid and I think that was the, yeah. the one we all kind of liked grape Kool-Aid. So yeah. In interesting for sure. for sure. Do they, do they make a grape cough syrup? Uh, probably, probably. Yeah. Well, you can go to Walgreens just, and get your stuff flavored any flavor you want these days. Really? Nice. Yeah. Oh. The liquid oh. stuff. Yeah. Oh, interesting. I did not know yeah. that. Damn kids didn't have to suck down Robitussin like the rest of us. Yeah. Yeah. Castor oil. There oh, you go. Gosh. Now that's that's really old school. All right. Uh let's move on to our last one of the night is E. Uh, again, we'll go a through darker. the time too. It is it is oh, definitely I... darker. Definitely darker. I'm getting a lot going on here. Yeah. Some grasses, some uh grasses. Lemon? Lemon? Yeah, maybe. I, I think there's definitely some lemon, kind of zest, lemon zest type of thing. Yeah. Mm hmm Yeah. Wouldn't like a old uh, vinyl couch with a cover on it. <laughs> with a cover? With a, Specifically a cover. with the cover. The, the, plas the plastic couch. cover. And stuff. Yeah. Okay. You got to protect it. Kind of reminds me. It's like lemon pledge. Lemon pledge, yeah, yeah, interesting. Kind of a this is a, like a cactus aloe vera tequila. Okay, yeah, tequila smell. I can kind of get that. Yeah, I, I, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, let's taste it. See what we got here. Ember margarita.
I think I like the taste of lemon pledge. It's sweet and spicy. <laughs> I mean, it really is. It starts out so sweet. Mouthfeel is good. Yeah. Sweet. It's sweet. And then then it just ends on this this spice that just keeps kind of getting a little bit more intense, a little bit more intense. It's not hot, not yeah, not like that, but it just it definitely intensifies. Mm-hmm. It's, since we're since we've taken a turn for the Chinese takeout, it's kind of got that hot and sour soup. Okay. Kind of yeah. There you go. Got the lemongrass in the ginger thing, but it's oh got, yeah, there you go. Lemongrass is good. Well, lemongrass, yeah. My God. Never had lemongrass soup. Oh, you don't know what you're missing. All right, Jeannie. How about you? What are your, what are your thoughts as you taste this one? Well, I don't get the lemongrass. I actually just made lemongrass infused butter <laughs> so really? the other day. Wow. Um, I have this little machine that infuses butters, oils, whatever. And because I love lemongrass, um, and I don't really get the lemongrass flavor. Um, I don't know. It's just, uh, um, I'm still someone that, you know, had mentioned tequila and I'm tasting that tequila or some sort of finish there. Um, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Tequila is interesting because that's stu- definitely stuck in my head too. And, uh, yeah. KK, how about you? What are your thoughts as you taste this one? Are they finishing bourbon and tequila barrels? Yeah, oh, some yeah, people yeah. do. Yeah, yeah, we've yeah. got uh, yeah, we've got uh, uh, the reverse of that coming up uh, with the tequila things. But yes, th- that's been done. So yes. okay, I can see how that might be. That I I definitely the aloe vera, the lemon. The sweet and sour soup, those all come forward to me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, fair enough. And it's got a bolder mouthfeel than a couple of the others. Okay. David is with us now. David, how you doing? I've been here. I've been listening. I just turned my my uh, video on. So okay. Yeah, you you, you didn't your, get your samples though, correct? I did not get my samples, but I poured an old fashioned, so I'm okay. <laughs> All right. There you go. We'll look into that and see what happened. If it got lost in the mail or whatever, they, they usually will tell you what, what happened. So we'll yeah, see. no worries. It, it always, it, you know what, even when it's, it, it does, it eventually does show up, but uh, we always make right on that. Even that though, uh, you know, we don't handle the shipping. It's, it's out of fairness. We always, uh, we always make right on those things. That's okay. I got some whistle pig piggyback rye six year. I like the piggyback rye actually for most. Is that matter, probably my favorite whistle pig product? It's. Uh, it's good. I finished mine off that same bottle last night. Okay. Or not like not not last night, maybe Sunday night. Wow, he drank so much of it he doesn't even know. So. Uh, that gives <laughs> well, I've I, I've got a bunch of bottles that have just a little bit in them, and so I've been trying to finish them off. Okay, fair enough. Terry, what are your thoughts as you taste this last one? E. Yeah, the the cactus, the tequila, a little bit of lemon, short finish. Finish mm-hmm. on D was a lot. I've only tried two since I joined late, but uh, finish is a little short. Okay. All right. Jason, we'll send it over to you. Um, I like the mouthfeel. I, I like uh, how it kind of yeah. lights my tongue up, but uh, I'm not a fan. <laughs> not a fan. Not a fan. All of that being stated, he's not a fan. Uh, okay. Never know second pass. It, it leaves yeah, second pass can change things. Yeah, you never never uh, lock your vote in until we've gone through a second time. We've learned that lesson quite a few times. All right. Scott, how about you, man? Thoughts on the taste of this one? <laughs> or? Um, Kind of what was just stated. I really, really enjoyed the nose, but the flavors just... Uh, not what I was hoping for, I guess. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. And last but not least, Mr. Bill. Well, it's too dark to be seagrass. Okay. But it does have some kind of grass to it. Okay. Um, yeah. it's you know it's a grass, then, but not seagrass. Okay. All right. Fair enough. All right. We'll, uh, we'll set that aside. 
And now we'll start at the top of the order. We'll go all the way back to letter A. And this time, again, not call on anybody individually, though we may touch base with Terry here since he didn't get the, the opportunity to go through these the first time. But we'll start all the way back at the top of the horn and with A. Let's, uh, let's start out with uh, some nosing. And again, if you've got something, just share it. And if not, uh, I feel like little... the nose got sweeter. Yeah. It's definitely a little different, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, a, this is more like cotton candy ish. Cotton candy ish. Yeah. yeah. Powdered sugar donut type sweet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We'll see what that plays out like. Sweet and weedy. Text. Sweet and weedy. Okay. All right, let's taste it. Let's see what we got here. I think it got a little better. Yeah, I, I would mean, agree. It got, not, it got a little better. Yeah. It's still not like as full bodied as you might expect, but I think it got a little better. Yeah. Time has been kind to it. That's for sure. It reminds me of um, an older whiskey. Mm -hmm. um, it just kind of. I don't know. Has that feel to it? Mm -hmm. Seems like it wants to give a good finish, but kind of runs out of steam fairly quickly. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. This one would definitely benefit for some from some more alcohol. Okay, yeah. more proof would make that a lot better. Okay. It'd be it pours more in it. Yeah, <laughs> the the color the color is so thin. It really you say everything everything we're trying tonight is at least ninety. I would guess this was below ninety. At least eighty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, just at least yeah, of course. So, so as all, yeah, all we're saying is it's American whiskey. So, yes, we're we're not uh, we're not uh, divulging anything else. So, it has to be at least any proof. Are you and sure it, you didn't water this down? Well, maybe, <laughs> maybe. Why would I water it down? There would be no to make that bottle go the last few pours. Right? <laughs> <laughs> we're doing just fine. We didn't. We didn't have he had water six ounces, anymore. and he wanted to make sure it had. There was enough sure. For all. Sure. I, I wanted to stretch that. So yeah, I had a party the night where I was pouring this. So I was like, well, at the expense well, of at the expense of you guys, we'll uh, we'll do that. Well, hmm. Okay, Bill, are you using a wee Glen Cairn? Yes. Are you? Okay. Yeah. Looked like you had a lot in there. I figured it was. <laughs> The Wii, yes. We're opening up that uh, that uh, store. We're, that's what we're going to use is the Wii, Glenn, Karen. So, uh, so when's your store opening, Steve? Uh, everything from us will be done in time for Memorial Day weekend. We are working through the uh, licensing process, so we don't necessarily uh, control that, obviously. So if, if everything goes through, which we're hoping it does, we still got plenty of time. Uh, we're hoping that uh, we make that uh, Memorial Day weekend, which would be awesome. So. Uh, getting uh, our bar top tomorrow so that gets delivered tomorrow so nice fun. yeah is gary doing your bar top gary yes yeah gary heingartner if you know gary heingartner from woodhead spirits has been on several of our events and stuff like that so gary's a great guy of course he lives on a big farm and uh, he's dropped some some big trees and uh he's got a buddy who owns a sawmill and uh, he had us he had those trees and we got like three and a half inch live edge stuff so it's cool it's cool so it's gonna be a great nice. bar it's gonna be a great bar and then we're gonna surprise him and uh, we didn't tell him this but in the corner because it comes down it's a it's a it's like an l shape uh in the in the corner uh where it uh, comes together we're gonna put uh um, you know he's got a his, his wood hat spirits has a hat a distinctive hat we're gonna we're gonna have that carved into the edge of the bar since he gave us this and really helped us out so it'll be kind of a cool little tribute to gary uh, on the on the bar which is cool anything else about a before we move on what what tasting notes did y'all get first time around i'm i'm not getting a lot it's kind of thin there's not a lot of notes maybe the only thing i'm really catching is maybe a little bit of like uh mint a little mint mint vanilla maybe it's it's any fried oranges what was that kathy any fried oranges in there? No, I can't. Not catching the fried oranges. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Earthy fried oranges. Well, then was amended a little bit. How about water? Water. Yeah. <laughs> Bill. Bill thought it was a very watery mouthfeel. So definitely some avian notes. Avian notes. 
or you naive. Mean the water, Evian. I thought you meant Avion like birds. <laughs> yes, it has an Avion birds a taste. That's what he did mean. Okay. It's, it, it's, it's almost like light. It's, yeah. it's almost like whiskey light. Yeah. Well, light whiskey. Yeah, there's a there's a light whiskey, and it could be that that would be perfectly legal as long as it's made in the U.S. Uh, we're okay in this particular thing. Was that the '60s, '70s? That's what I was thinking. Yeah, it was big, big then. Yeah, make a little bit of a comeback. There's some companies making light whiskey these days. Yeah. Not probably not probably a good idea, but you know they everybody has to try something. You know, we're all trying to do. There's some disgusting stuff. NA stuff out there, man. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. All right, next one is B. Let's talk about B. Oh, oh. got better. It got, yes. it got better. And it was pretty good to start with, but it got better. It's pretty intense on the nose, isn't it? There's a lot going on there. Yeah, I've got yeah. the maple syrup, maple syrup marshmallow. Kind yeah, of maple syrup I'm marshmallow. That, I'll agree with that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This nose got better. Yeah, it did. Yeah. yeah. There's there's brown sugar. I mean, there's there's all kinds of stuff going on there. Vanilla. There's definitely vanilla there. Mm -hmm. Maybe uh, even like Jeannie said before, vanilla bean. Kind of even uh, intense vanilla. So, yeah. That's, that's a neat one. That's good. But the important thing is, how'd the flavor do? Second pass. So let's, let's, let's taste it. Are we on C? A B. 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 Bravo. Yeah. It it um, it's very good taste wise. Almost desserty to the taste for me. Um, it feels like it lost a little bit of the spiciness. It, it felt like it was kind of a spicier one the first time around. It it has kind of kind of uh, tamed down a little bit on that. How about you guys? Any any notes you want for the official record there on this one? Maybe a rounder butterscotch the second time around. Rounder butterscotch, okay. Yeah. Ooh. I wish I had more left. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's not the one. I don't know what, what I miss. I don't know what Scott's doing there. That's what he's trying to figure out. So the uh, I'm uh -huh. trying to catch video of the cat being a complete and total spaz. Okay. He, he's knocked my coat down off of the chair, and now he runs at it and lands on it and slides across the high hardwood. Oh, well, he's, um, he's created and a, a game then. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he's just having a good old time. He found yeah. his catnip toy and. Oh, he's high. Oh yeah, he's been wall bouncing all week. Well, it's only Tuesday, but so my my cat has learned to take all the toilet paper off the toilet roll. Oh, that's we'll bad have when a, that happens. We'll have a a full roll, and I'll wake up in the morning, and there will be toilet paper littered <laughs> across the house. It's crazy. You can't believe how much is on that roll until you see it laid out like that. Oh, hurled. It's unbelievable. You gotta you gotta mount it backwards. That way, when they spin it, it doesn't come off. Oh, I'm so ah, angry! But I get so mad. Way. Oh, it's, here we go. Way. Yeah, you gotta close the door then. I, I, I gotta <laughs> leave it the way it's supposed to be and close the door to keep it together. I can't handle exactly. that, that upside down toilet paper. Right. Like, this, yeah. this is what you need to show your your cat. <laughs> 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 It's not real. Yeah. That's just a okay, I can pull one out, but I'm drinking. Oh, I'm sure not... you could. Now, now I'm getting catnip notes. Catnip notes. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's the grass I was smelling. There you go. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, uh, very good. This one's very good. So let's uh, let's put this one aside, though, for now. We'll come back. We will get to taste these side, but I'll give you guys a little bit of time to go through and rank these. You'll taste side by side. But we're going to talk about C now. Let her see. Oh. This may be from a friend of ours. This, uh, wow. 
Got to well be. more Laffy Taffy, I think. Yeah. The banana Laffy Taffy to me on the yep. nose. Oh, uh, yeah. This is, uh, this is sponsored by Laffy Taffy, I believe. Everybody's got to be a brand. Hey, their target demographic has grown up. They need to have a product for them. <laughs> so <laughs> here's where we're at. We have Laffy Taffy whiskey. Looking like the, the inside leather of a boot. Like if you smell the inside leather of a boot. It's Worn or not? Have I drank too much? <laughs> <laughs> New, Before or after socks? New boot. Yeah. Is this a glass boot or a leather boot? <laughs> glass slipper. Glass, glass boot. I've drank out of a glass boot before, but not, but not whiskey. Oh, like a beer in the in the boots. Yeah, yeah I've done that too. It's all about the turn, Bill. I would nice. say nicer fake banana this time around. Okay, still got the yeah. candy nicer banana, fake. but it's it's right. that high end laffy taffy, not that low end shit. Let's try it. Last time we tried it, it was name brand. Yeah, it didn't necessarily get that on the on the taste. It was this was uh one that's just you just drink and drink. But let's see what we got second time through. So this isn't from Big Lots. Hmm. So he bounces around and then he goes and stares at the wall. Maybe he can see outside through that little seam. Yeah. I mean, he's got good eyesight. He's like, I didn't do it. Can't blame me. I wasn't even looking at you. Like, uh, it, it looks like he's sh it looks like he's shunning you actually yeah. like yeah. he doesn't approve of like what he's you're mad doing at you right yeah. Now. Yeah. not paying he's like you're talking him. but not to me right <laughs> yeah he'll turn his back on you so yeah. um i feel like it's hotter this time is it hotter hotter Get that. Yeah. it's kind of warm in here i don't know maybe i should maybe. change the thermostat maybe a little bit <laughs> <laughs> do, do, do. His uh, hero in quotes. That is mine. <laughs> Picking up a little more like cedar chest and a little less pastry, but I've still got the cinnamon and the, and the kind of fruity thing going on, but there's yeah. a little more woodsy happening. Okay, I agree. Cedar Which is a good thing. Pastry. Yeah. Cedar into that. that. Not much of a finish though it's still it still dissipates fairly quickly dissipates fairly quickly yes yeah doesn't give you much of a hug. Not picking up any of these notes uh no no bill you've been there and you don't like when people uh say anything about you when you don't have the samples i've had bill and bill pounce <laughs> boy he's bad when he doesn't get his samples that's a bad day for me because oh, <laughs> it's a bad day for me <laughs> it's not like i've got other things sends me a note do not call on me i'm gonna sit in on this but do not call on me it's okay i got i got plenty of other samples we could talk about <laughs> <laughs> we may we may have you do that uh it's not like i have anything else to drink true yeah you, yeah that yeah, shelf behind you looks just bro that, that's, that's for show that's for show it's all out. it's all it's all just sweet tea poured back into a bottle yeah uh, it's it's samples specimens we have a basket full of samples from shows i didn't make it to oh oh hell i finished those off a long time ago yeah you don't you don't uh, drink afterwards or watch the video i, I try but okay. apparently i'm not very good at it okay i just i just made an infinity bottle out of all the samples that i didn't make so there you go mm. We'll see how that I'll pour mine into my barrel. Into you, oh, you got uh, a barrel? Your little wooden barrel? No. No, I got a big wooden barrel. Oh, you do? How many 50, gallons? 53. 53? Really? Wow. Is it that big? Yeah. Uh, standard size? I don't, I don't know. What barrel do you have, Bill? From, uh, it's the one from Lenny's. From Lenny's. Uh, yeah, that would be a 53. Lenny doesn't use anything but 53s, I don't think. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, a lot so of samples. You pour you you so you have like half a sample left and you pour it in there. You'll be able to pour that in there forever. It'll never get caught up. Uh never well, the angel share some other stuff in there too. Some okay. some not not like high-end stuff, but not not that screwball, did you? No. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I would Real. I wouldn't even I wouldn't even soak my wood chips that I'm gonna put on the grill yeah. in that shit. 
Wow. Yeah. Our, our oh, event last night was called the Bourbon Confessional, and Bill admitted he bought a thing of screwball. So yeah. I went to a trivia night, and for 25 bucks, you could pull a mystery bottle of whiskey. And a couple <laughs> yeah. tables over, somebody got a bottle of screwball. And I was like, oh, <laughs> that gives screwball a whole new name, man. Oh, yeah. you lost money at a trivia night. Damn. Uh, oh, that's bad. That's bad. All right, uh, D. D. Let's talk about D. This really has a nice nose on it now. Am yeah, I- it it had really no nose before, hardly, but now, man, it seems like the nose is pretty good. It, it's weird cycling through these things multiple times. Everything's. I'm, I'm having a hard time keeping things separate. It's, everything's mixing together. Mm-hmm. Well, some people do that. Take notes. Uh, I wish I wish yeah. someone someone could uh get out that nosing note, whatever it is, because it's it's pretty pretty good. We're on D, correct? Where's Delta? Justine yeah. when we need her? Yeah, where's Justine? <sighs> when I first smelled it the second time, I thought great pop rocks. I don't know if y'all yeah, I remember great yeah. pop rocks. Yeah, great pop rocks, yeah. Without the nose, without the, the sound. Yeah, the sound. Yeah. All right, let's taste it one last time. Let's see what we got here. Grape jelly. It definitely has yeah. a grape, grape taste to it. Grape jelly is a good, good call. A little bit of cho- yeah, it's definitely watered down. Thin, grape, a little bit of chocolate, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, I think someone might have said that on the first pass. Yeah. So. If they didn't, they should have. Yeah. Interesting. No, claim it. Next time I say that, claim it. Say, that was me. It's not bad. I mean, by any means, but. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah. I like it better the second time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Fair enough. All right. Our last one is E. Let's get E and let's talk about what's going on here with letter E. Still lemon pledge. Lemon pledge. It is. Mm-hmm. I'm not denying that. I know. I've I've noticed this before. I mean, before tonight. Okay. I I, I don't know where I've noticed it before. Well, there's something something familiar to Bill there. And I, I agree with Bill. I smelled this smell before, but I can't. I don't know. If I'm having a in a whiskey or in life. I, I still think it. I oh. still think it's got a little bit of a tequila smell to it. A little tequila, mm-hmm. or or you know, a little bit of um, like a malted barley smell. Malted barley, yeah. So yeah. perhaps a single malt then. Yeah, could be. No. I think he was already eliminated. I don't think it's a. I don't think it's a perhaps. I think it's a sure, sure fired single malt. Okay. Mike can actually, actually knows what all five are at this point. <laughs> well, it's str- knows what all six are. It's strain of it's strain of hands. Strain of hands. Okay. I know I said vinyl the first time, but is anybody getting like a pencil eraser? Pencil eraser. Rubber. Brand new pencil eraser or slightly used? Slightly used. Okay. I don't know. Some, some. I've smelled this before, and it's triggering my mind for something. Okay. You know? Yeah. So some I'm sort of cool house smell. Yeah, I got like lemon and leather. Lemon and leather together. That sounds a like cool a song. house smell. Sounds like a song. Lemon and leather. Pool house smell does not sound appealing at all. Actually. <laughs> School. Schoolhouse. Schoolhouse. School <laughs> even that's, worse, perhaps. That's School less house. appealing than the pool house. Yeah, yeah, that's that's even worse. The schoolhouse. But pretty All soon right. we're gonna pretty soon we're gonna descend into locker room or something. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Not Davis, far off. David's gonna, yeah. really, gotta it's be really happy with what's room. happening. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's taste it. One last taste. Here we go. Wow. Well. Spiciest of the Spicy, spicy. Is this a rye? I, I'm I'm not a big rye person. I haven't had a lot of ryes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do you think there's I, a, I like, is it a could rye be. or high rye bill? 
it, it could be either of those. It could be a, a bourbon that's a high rye bill, or it could be even a rye. It's all eligible. So I can't, I, I'm not allowed to say any, any hints. It's a half a bubble off a plum, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Half a bubble above what? Half a bubble off a plum. <laughs> Uh, I don't know where this saying comes from. I have no idea. I like that. I like Half that. A bubble from a plum. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. It's just not, it ain't square. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any other tasting notes on this one? I bet you I don't have it. Okay. All right. I know I don't have it. Okay. Yeah. Harry's thinking if he has one of these. I, uh, I don't know if I've tried any of these that I would buy. I okay. mean, uh, yeah. Well, I, so when I rate them like on a scale of one to five, 3.5 and above means I like it enough that I would buy it. Okay. Three, three and a quarter means if somebody gives it to me, I'll drink it. If it's below a three, I don't want to buy it and I don't want to try it. I mean, I don't have it. Nothing's knocked my socks off. Maybe, okay. well, I'm not going to say which one I like. I don't want to influence, but I haven't tried any of these that I'm just like, wow, this is awesome. After the, after this is over, I'm going to run out and buy it. Okay. Okay. Interesting. The blind taste test is the great equalizer. That's what I will say about all of this. Or Steve picked a bunch of stinkers. Yeah, it could be. It could be. We'll see. Be. We're close to the reveal here. So what we, what we do next is we turn the power now over to our judges. You being the judges. So we'll give you just a little bit of time. Again, you're going to create a ranking here, one through five, one being your favorite of the evening, five being your least favorite, taste them side by side, do whatever you need to do. I'll give you a couple minutes to do that. And you can put that together mm -hmm. while you're doing that. David and I will talk about uh, weather and stuff like that. So we are not participating in this part of the event. We're just hanging out. Just oh, it's only uh, 90 degrees in Los Angeles today. So 90, oh. 90. It was a little bit cooler today and say that we've we've had a 90 degree. Our weather was already. great. Yeah, but it was it was nice today. Yeah, it was started out in like the 40s. It was pretty chilly in the morning. But uh oh, I had my windows was. open. Yeah, me too. I like I like sleeping like that. Windows open is good. I sleep much better when it's cold out and uh Windows open, it's nice, very nice. It can be very cool in the room as long as I got the nice covers, I'm, I don't care, it's good. Just sleep, so yeah. Some people are still look like they're still working, doing some tastings, that's okay. Do it, I'm, I'm tasting do it. them all twice to be fair. Do it, do it right, do it right. Yeah. I don't wanna mess this up, this is important. I have heard from the uh, the people that have uh, won in our first two events. They've, they've been happy. So, really, yeah. I bet Harlan yeah. is. He's placed both times. Yeah, Harlan is. Uh, yeah, he's been uh, he's been on a good roll here. We'll see. We know he's in tonight. Uh, so, just where is he and how's he going to do? And we know Caleb Kilburn is in here too from Kentucky Peerless. Ah. That's all we know. That's all we know. So. We'll see how they do. Will our champion be the first one to uh, repeat? Could be our first repeat winner tonight. So that'll be fun. And then can Harlan make it at least three times in a row of, of getting at least second place? That's also something to watch out for here as we go through and uh, taste these. Try to get it right. Do your best. Should be interesting. And then the unveiling time will come. And I'll be, I think you guys will be excited to see what we have here tonight. Mm. Very interesting evening. Mike already knows all of them. So that's really anticlimactic to him. He, he, he tasted all of them and was like, I know yeah. this one. I know that one. And it could be any American whiskey in the world, any, anything. And Mike was like, I know what this one is. I know what this one is. <laughs> wow. Oh, it's going to be a huge embarrassing failure. <laughs> Uh, you, you, know, you know, you have confidence though going in. That's important. You know, I, I tried Elijah Craig barrel proof for the first time last night. And That's good. Yeah. It's so good. Well, it's well, so well, complex well, and so much stuff going on. And none of the, it, uh, that was, that wrecked me. That wrecked what, was the, what, batch, what batch did you have, Terry? A122. Uh, I, I like A122 as well. Yeah. Nice. 
Yeah, we had a guy on last night who had a bottle of uh, 139.3, and it was one of the newer ones. So I t- I'm going to, uh, this weekend, I'm going to put, I don't know if all of you guys get it. There's a Blue Note, Blue Note juke joint, uncut, unfiltered. And it's only about $39, $40 in most stores. And I have a smoke wagon, uncut, unfiltered. And then I got Elijah Craig barrel proof. And I'm thinking about doing my own three-way blind taste test this weekend with those okay. three. I think that should okay. be fun. Blue Note to the bottle share. Blue Note, yeah. <laughs> Blue Note's doing some good things. They need to sell that name to St. Louis, though. We that should be ours. We should. Have yeah, that. it should. With the we hockey should, team and all. With the hockey team, we should have that. So. They're I actually, sometimes yeah. have a blind taste. I I I taste until I'm blind. <laughs> Terry, I picked up at my local liquor store here, did a barrel, a private barrel pick of Blue Note and uh, got to taste it in the store. It was, I mean, it was really good. I ended up buying a bottle. It was good. It ta- it tastes, it, it tastes way above its price point. And w- you guys know about that Survivor Series? Have y'all heard about that? No. What's the Survivor Series? The Survivor Series is back in Oh, yeah, June. I did hear about that. In June of 2019, they had a tornado go by, go through where they, the Rick House, one of the Rick Houses collapsed. It was in like the middle of June. And I, however many barrels were in the Rick House, like ended up in the field. They rolled down a hill and it took them four months to extract them. And the barrels were exposed to the heat of summer, rainstorms, cool nights. They weren't in the Rick House. They were out in the open. And if you get any of those uncut uh, blue note juke joints that are numbered in like the 16,000 to 19,000 the barrel numbers it's going to be a survivor series and it's amazing hmm. they're really really amazing that's cool that there it is good. he got one what's the barrel number on that we have 17,186 that's a that's a survivor right there that's a very good yeah. bottle from what i've heard yeah oh yeah it's <laughs> 85 was bad though so you got you got the right one there so that's good all right well is everybody scott needs to scott needs to bring that the next time that we have a bottle share a bottle share scott will bring that he's in i've just committed him to it i'll see if he's i can pick up another to- bottle next time i go to wine and cheese yeah he's coming he's coming to the uh he's coming to the event for the legend so yes yeah all right okay. i'm gonna so convert over now uh, you have to, but not everybody else, because we want to try that. So we, right. uh, yeah, it's, it's not required for the event at all, but uh, yeah, for you at this point, yes. All right. We are now going to uh, switch over. I'm on the spreadsheet. I cannot see you guys. So if you need to get a hold of me, you have to uh, reach out via that way. I can't read it if you put it in the chat or anything. I am in the spreadsheet. So uh, this is just the list that I have you guys down for. Jason Wickle, you are first, man. How did you rank these? I got Bravo, Delta, Charlie, Alpha, Echo. My mind works slower than that, but uh, I was able to memorize them. So as you did, so whew, it was stressful though. All right, Mr. Bill, you're next. Um, mine sounds very similar. Um, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, Alpha, Echo. I don't think it gets don't. more similar than that. So well, just for the record, just for the record, you guys don't have to go that fast. Really. I, uh, Terry, <laughs> you're next. Terry, you're next. Bravo. Okay. <laughs> Charlie. Okay. David. Alpha. Echo. Exactly what the was just said. Okay. Yeah. All right, Jeannie. Bravo, Charlie, Alpha, Echo, Delta. Okay. Just mixed it up a little bit there. All right, Mike. Bravo, Charlie, Alpha, Delta, Echo. Boy, it's coming in fast and furious here. Two are, are moving away from the pack, but we still have enough to go that it could, it could, something could switch around here. We'll see what happens. Uh, Kathy, you're next. He's thinking. Mine is a lot different than everyone else's. Okay. Okay. D, A, E, D like dog, 
and be like boy. Wow. Wow. Be much, wow, Kathy. Be much different. I'm owning it. Yeah. I like what I like. Contrarian. Contrarian. You uh yeah, you I like it. You don't you don't just go with the group. You uh you you go with what you like. That's how it should be. Scott, you're next. I think me and Jeannie are the same. Bravo, Charlie, Alpha, Delta, Echo. Okay. I believe that covers everyone that is on tonight's event. Is that correct? Did I miss anyone? We could let Dave just guess randomly. Just throw yeah. yeah. <laughs> just throw <laughs> some letters out there. Yeah. Skew everything. Yes. Make uh, a word make a wordle out of it. A wordle. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, wordle right. in three today. Nice. Still okay. haven't finished it. <laughs> really? Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm just writing this down so I can uh, back. come back to you guys live here. All right. We do have clear cut winners. That's the good news. Nothing, no ties, anything like that. All right. Okay. It is now. The fate is now set. All right. In last place, dun, dun, dun. with just 10 points. A whiskey that Bill says he does not have in his house. Distillery 291. Rye 101.7 proof. What letter? E. E. Really? E. Distillery, Distillery 291. 291. E. Oh, I, don't I don't know. I don't know if I have that. 10 points. Ten Did you points. say it was a rye? It was a mm -hmm. rye. Actually, all of them are rye, but A. All are rye, but A, which is. I didn't even know wow. that as I was picking them, but uh, as I look at them on the list here, they're all rise but A. All right. In fourth place, letter D with 17 points. Our current runner-up, Harlan Wheatley, will now drop off for at least a wow. month. That wow. was Sazerac. Sazerac was what we had there. The I'm little, little Saz. Well, yeah, baby Saz, of course. Yes, I wouldn't uh, have the 17-year-old uh thousand dollar uh sazerac as part and what no, what letter was uh this? that was d d was sazerac mm -hmm. 90 proof on sazerac by the way that was our lowest proof of the night so i do have a baby sass sitting right here next to my desk so oh uh, baby exactly. baby sass yeah yeah it's, it's the baby baby, baby sass <laughs> yeah yeah what uh what was distillery 291 what was the proof on that 101.7 and that was the uh, their rye again yeah and sazerac of course is a rye okay uh, next up is A. This was our only non-rye this evening. It was a corn whiskey. It was mellow corn. Uh, 19 uh, points. 19 points. It is a bottled and bond. Uh, a couple interesting notes here. Uh, so saying it's a very lo low proof. A lot of people said that. It's, you know, right in the middle. Uh, you know, it's equal alcohol and water. So that's not the case. Uh, I think the closest, the most interesting note, and again, I'm kind of just keeping track of these. Jeannie said, it tastes like an old whiskey. And of course, uh, Mellow Corn is a whiskey that nothing's really changed from. It's uh, started in 1945. The label's even exactly the same as it was back then. Uh, of course, it's made by different people now, but uh, Heaven Hills had it for many years. And it's an interesting whiskey. So, but it falls out. Uh, it does not move on. So that means a hundred, a hundred proof, a hundred proof. Yep. 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 It's a bottled and bond. Product, bottled so. and bond. Yep. 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 How many All points right. do I have, Steve? How, how, what's that? How many points did that have? Uh, they had 19, 19 right. points for mellow corn. Are you All writing right. this down, KK? Yeah. In okay. second place, in second place. Coming in at 100 proof, letter C, 28 points, Old Forester Rye. Old wow. Forester Rye. Impressive. Impressive. So, yeah. Cheap bottle. Pretty good. Uh, I think we know who our champion is. Uh, we had a champion. Peerless that, uh, Rye. Yeah, yeah. So it's Peerless, and it is their Rye. Uh, comes in at uh, 106.2 proof, and uh, Peerless is our champion. Uh, they were letter B. And they had 31 points, 106.2 proof, 31 points tonight. And Peerless, our first ever repeat uh, three months into this thing. So that means Peerless, uh, Caleb Kilburn, and, uh, and Chris Morris, uh, the master distiller for Old Forester, will be our champion and runner-up going into our next event. 
our next event, which happens, by the way, of course, I'll put this in the email to you guys. I'll release the video. The next event is slated to occur on May 31st, all the way to the end of May, May 31st. That's when that one will occur. So I found my notes from the last round. If somebody had a question about what was in them. Oh, okay. Yeah. Who, who, who had to sit out a month? Who, who were the three that um, didn't make it? Wild Turkey 101 Rye came in okay. third place. Jim Beam Old Granddad 114 came in fourth place. Okay. And Deer Hammer came in fifth place. Oh, Deer Hammer. Oh, dear. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, I, I, a lot of people said uh, Distillery uh, 291 tasted or was like familiar, very familiar. I, I think there's a lot of people that are fans of what they got going on there. So. Uh, yeah, so it should, definitely should taste familiar. I know that a lot of tried that. Can I ask a question on the two nine one? Yeah, <clears throat> is, is there a rye finished with uh, aspen staves as well? It is. Yes. Okay. Uh, so these uh, these famous. I don't uh, know if I've had. That. So do you think that's why it got the tequila finish? Probably, probably. These are definitely an interesting, definitely a different sort of uh, sort of finishing agent. The bourbon I love. I don't know right. if I've had the rye. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Mr. Bill. Was, Thankfully, yeah. Mr. Bill's wearing pants this week, so uh, not, <laughs> not always the case. Much. It's not always the case when he gets up and goes to the shelf. So, thankfully, uh, it's a good night tonight for us. What's your old Fitzgerald? What do you got there? Oh, the Peerless. So, so I've got a bottle of the um, Peerless Rye, yep. and it's the spiced tea. Yeah, it's spiced different. Tea. It's just a one one ten. 1.6, I think. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Well, there you go, gang. That is our event for this evening. So we have uh, a champion is repeated. So uh, we'll be back next month, which is very cool. Congratulations to the team over at Peerless, in particular, Caleb Kilburn. Uh, I know he's a pretty humble guy, so I think he'd probably like to shirk that to the team. So uh, thank, uh, congratulations to them and uh, as well as uh, Chris Morris there. And it will be old foe, not anything that uh, Chris Morris does uh, because, uh, you know, he's, he's Brown Foreman master. So we'll stick to the old Forester products. There's mellow corn. There's mellow corn. And, and, and this one's uh, 100 proof. Yeah. That's what we have. <laughs> it only comes out of as that. It's, it's interesting. It's interesting. Um, I do know someone's doing a barrel pick of that. So Ooh. Brad Mitchell is on a lot of these events. If you know Brad and Sally, you'll see mm -hmm. them on a lot of these events. Uh, Brad's in like a bourbon club that's in Georgia that does a lot of barrel picks. And they're doing one of mellow corn coming up, which is very cool. That'd be so, exciting. Yeah, I'd like to be involved in that. But yeah, no kidding. Yeah, that's, that's that'd be fun. But not uh, anything I've ever heard done before, a barrel pick of that. So that's kind of neat. And then I know another guy that says he's going to be doing one, Nate Weinegar. So I know him from 5280 out there in Denver, Colorado. Uh, he claims his club is going to be doing one as well. So fun. The sticker club guy? The sticker club guy, yes. Yep, so... Well, there you go. Uh, I'll turn off the recorder because uh, we recorded this for those that couldn't be on here. So it looks like we only got about half of them that signed up uh, on here. So they'll be able to watch it and drink along if they like. I don't know what Bill's doing there. Uh, but for that, I'll say goodbye. But I'll stick around if you guys want to talk whiskey, anything like that. So goodbye to our at-home audience. See you guys. Bye. Bye. Thank you. See you on the next one.